Now I'm going to give you, uh, I'm giving you this function right here. f of x equals 3x to the third plus 8x squared minus x minus 10. <coughs> I've got a question for you though. Is x equals 3 a 0 of your function? And when I say is it a 0, I mean this. Does f of 3 equal 0? That's really what the question is asking. Now, I don't want you to plug in 3 into this guy. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to use synthetic division. Because if I use synthetic division with 3, what should my remainder equal? 0. zero. So if it doesn't equal 0, it's not going to be a 0. So let's, let's check this guy. Let's do synthetic division here. Again, we're going to set all of these guys up exactly the same way. I figure if we do it all the same way, then we always get the right answer. So again, I'm just going to set it all up. That's my remainder. This is going to be the coefficient for x squared of x. And this is my constant. So what's your k? What am I using here? I'm using 3. Notice that it's not in that factor form like x plus or minus 3. I'm just telling you this is what x is. This is your k value, so that's going to be 3. What are your coefficients? 3, 8, negative 1, and 10. 3, 8, negative 1, and negative 10. <coughs> right? You know what to do. Bring down the 3. What do you get? 3. 3 times 9, 3 times 3 is 9, 17. gives me 17, 17 times 3 is, do you feel that these numbers are getting way out of control and you're not going to get 0? Yeah. <laughs> Stop! Don't do it! Well, you know what, I just can't help myself. I get a remainder of 140, uh, so this is like sort of wrong and stuff, so is x equals 3 to 0? No. It's not. Now, what I can conclude from this, though, I can conclude that when I take my function f, evaluate it at 3, it doesn't equal 0, but it equals what? It equals 140. Do you buy that? I'd buy that for a dollar. In case you don't remember that one. So let me ask you this, is x equal to negative 2 a 0? If I do synthetic division with negative 2, does that work out? So can we write with the same? no like you do on our test? No. You're just going to write no here? With the same equation? Yeah, using the same function, yes. So let's set up the synthetic division. So I want to find my k x to the third squared x constant. Oh yeah. So this is your remainder. That's supposed to be your x squared, x, and your constant. Is everybody okay with my setup so far? Mm -hmm. I'm using my k value of negative 2. I'm still using the same coefficients because it's the same function. So that's 3, 8, <coughs> negative 1, and negative 10. I think I heard a booyah before. Are you, are you telling me you've already done the synthetic division? Yeah. It was that fast? <laughs> wow. Would it have been that fast if you'd done long division? <laughs> Probably not. So bring down Point the taken. bring down the three. <laughs> multiply. What do you get? <coughs> negative six. What do we do with the eight and the negative six? Um, to get two. multiply. Easy killer. And that's plus 10. You get a remainder of 0. So is it a 0? No. It is a 0. So what we found out here is this. We can conclude that my function evaluated at negative 2 equals 0. Do you all agree? Yes. That means, well, what does that, what, what does that mean? That's one of the three zeros, right? It's, it's 
It's one of my three zeros, which means I only have how many left? Two. That means that this guy can break down to be a polynomial of how many, de of what degree? Two. If it's a polynomial of degree two, that makes it what kind of a function? Quadratic. quadratic. Do you know how to solve things that are quadratic? Yeah. Make it happen, Captain. Let me show you what this means now. You found out that. So now we use 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 and well, use that. Right, but, quadratic. but let me talk about what all the implications we have here. You said x equals negative 2 is a 0, right? That means that what is a factor x plus two. of f of x? Right, so since that was my k, the opposite of that guy, that means that x plus 2 is a factor. Do you all agree? Yes. So that means my original function of 3x to the third plus 8x squared minus x minus 10 will factor x plus 2 is one of the factors, right? What was the other factor that we found from doing the synthetic division? 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Use those coefficients right there. So that's 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Do you all agree with that? Now, since I have this as a linear factor and then this guy is quadratic, there's more stuff that I can do here if the question is asking you, okay? Because sometimes the question will say, find all of the zeros, okay? So I'm going to stop this video and we're going to look at this guy more in the next video.